Good morning everyone. I thought I would start the vlog today while I'm just doing the washing. I feel like this is the last load of washing that I'm gonna need to do. I've been a washing queen for the last day. This is I think the fifth load. This vlog is gonna be a little bit of a different one because we are gonna be flying to Spain and by we I mean me, Cam and my mum are gonna be flying to Madrid tomorrow so I can have my second lipedema surgery. If you don't know what lipedema is, I did a whole video about it. I'm gonna link it in the description box as well as my previous surgery video so that you guys can catch up before I head to Spain. But today is all about getting prepped. Jane is actually on her way to Brighton as we speak. So I need to tidy the house for Jane's arrival. I need to pack my case and I've got a bunch of work to do. We did a towel wash. Oh, can you guys let me know who your top YouTubers are right now because obviously I'm going to be having surgery. I would like some new YouTubers to start binge watching while I'm there. Just made myself a cup of tea to make this task a little bit easier because I have grown to kind of despise packing. The amount of traveling that I did last year is ridiculous and I've just grown to really really hate packing. So this used to be a fun task for me. I used to love organizing everything but now I'm like oh. But I've got my suitcase here. This is an away suitcase. It's been fabulous. Fabulous. So the first thing I'm putting in here is this Aveeno Daily Moisturising After Shower Mist. We are taking my toothbrush. I need to charge it, but that's the case that it goes in. Some Aveeno hand cream as well. I've got a little dry shampoo. I've got these little glass pots from Sostring Green. Not sure what I'm going to put in there yet, but I'm sure I will find something. And this is my deodorant. It's from a brand called Fussy. Today's video is actually sponsored by Fussy. So let me tell you a little bit more about them. I've recently made the switch to natural deodorant after using antiperspirant for a while and one of the big reasons is that antiperspirant has been flaring my skin up it's been making it itch really bad the last few weeks so I decided to make the switch to Fussy who are a natural deodorant brand but another reason is I don't love the effect that buying single-use plastic bottles over and over again has on the environment I'm trying to buckle down this year and go reusable wherever I can and that is where Fussy comes into the mix Fussy are a natural deodorant brand that offer plastic free refills in incredible scents first of all how cute is this case? I actually chose this blush pink color because it goes with all of my travel cases. I like everything to match, but they offer so many cute colors. I'm gonna put them on screen right now so you guys can see. I really love this green shade as well. It's super easy to refill your case once you run out of deodorant. You just pull the case apart, push in the plastic free refill and twist the mechanism for it to pop up at the top. And your old refill will compost in your garden or the bin. How cool is that? No more single use plastic when it comes to your deodorant. This scent smells incredible. Every time I open it, I'm like, oh my god, delicious. So the scent I got this month is Tropic Tonic Lime, which is lime, basil, and mandarin, and it has a really spa-like scent. But again, like the colour of the cases, they offer so many different scents to choose from as well. I'm really interested in trying this one next month that's got vanilla in it. Can't wait to give that a go. But if you aren't a fan of scents or struggle to use them on sensitive skin, Fussy also have a scent-free range specifically made for sensitive skin. The you unique odor neutralizing probiotic formula it works for over 24 hours and I've been using my fussy deodorant for a little while now and I can definitely attest to that. It's also not making my skin itch which is incredible. Like that is something that I was struggling so badly with and I didn't really know what to do but since making the switch to natural fussy deodorant I'm not having to deal with that anymore and their deodorants are also cruelty free and vegan which is awesome. If you're wanting to make the switch to natural deodorant for the new year fussy are giving you 15% off your first order by clicking the link in the down bar and using code Gabriella15 at checkout and I can't recommend them more. It's nice to know that you're doing a little bit of good for the environment while treating your skin to some natural products. So big thank you to Fussy for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to packing. I'm going to be taking my skincare, so my Skin and Me Daily Doser and my Clinique Moisturiser, although I might not take this because I'm running low on it, so I might just buy one at the airport. I'm going to decant this into the spray bottle. This is amazing. It is really, really good. And I'm gonna put some hair oil in the other. I would have kept this in here, but I don't have a lid for it.
I can't believe how quickly the light goes nowadays. I've had to put the big lights on and it is, oh my God, I was listening to cats. <laughs> it's half past three, but I'm taking contact lenses. I'm also taking my face cleanser. I'm probably gonna buy a new cleanser in the airport though, because I've run out. As you just saw, I've got my hair bits for after I wash my hair. I've got an oil and a spray. Then I'm taking these. I've got shampoo and conditioner. I'm taking this, which actually is a lipstick holder, but I use it to hold earbuds <laughs> and some tweezers. I've got my tablet to take in a little clear pouch and I'm taking a razor too but I'm going to shave my legs tonight so I'm just going to leave that out for now just going to pack my makeup I'm doing just what I said just packing concealer mascara brows and maybe a couple lip products and that is pretty much it I'm just taking two lip products I've got a peach shine Nivea one and a lip balm and these are the brushes that I'm taking but I'm going to give them a wash first and everything fits so well in this little case on to electronics so I'm going to start with this bag we are going to be taking the microphone to do podcasting does not fit in the bag <laughs> okay i'm taking this microphone and the wire for the microphone i've got three of these european plug adapters so i'm going to be popping them in as well and then a lot of the other electronics i can't actually pack until tomorrow i've got my laptop charger ipad charger but i need to do work i'm going to be taking my nintendo switch so i've got the charger for that but i want to play on that tonight that's kind of what i do to relax at the minute so yeah i can't really pack any of the other electronics right now i did put some jewelry into here though so i might put that in my electronics bag so yeah let's get on to clothing i've just folded all the clothes that i want to take and i thought i would show you so i'm actually taking a pair of primark super cozy leggings that are fur lined you have to wear compression but sometimes compression makes my legs colder so i thought that i'd take those i'm taking a couple of long sleeve tops rather than jumpers so i've got this striped navy one from pull and bear and i've just got a long sleeved cropped one also from pull and bear because it is going to get a bit hotter it's going up to 15 degrees so I think I'll want to wear one of those under my coat and not a jumper on top. I'm also taking a few t-shirts. I've got this Nirvana one to wear underneath my big jumpers for when it is colder. Taylor Swift one. A couple of little bralettes that I'm going to be wearing because they're just comfy after surgery and in general. And then I've got this jumper, which was from M&S. It's just a high neck black one. I've got the jumper I was wearing for a little splash of colour. And then I've got the same black one, but in green. And that is everything that I'm taking, clothes wise, as well as like underwear and I'm going to take another coat as well for if it does get too warm. Okay, let's talk shoes. You do want to be wearing shoes that you can slip on and off easily to take your compression on and off. I'm going to talk about the ins and outs of surgery more in my next vlog, but for packing purposes, I'm going to be taking some Crocs. And these are also a good option, these Birkenstocks, if you don't like Crocs, but just shoes that you can slip on and off easily. But because it's winter, I need to take some thick socks as well. Luckily, I've been hoarding a bunch, so I'm going to take these ones and probably these. I'm actually going to take Una as well we've got so into this and as for pajamas i'm taking three pairs of older pajamas so that if they get ruined with blood it doesn't really matter because they are all a bit too big for me now which is also good for surgery it's good to have clothes that you can breathe in so three pairs of pajamas and i'm gonna take some food bits as well i'm taking four mug shots they're just easy to eat i've got some chocolate in here for when i'm craving english chocolate which is honestly every day and i've got a bag of tea bags <laughs> so all the necessities there. I also added my little Uniqlo bag and some masks as well. And that is everything that I'm going to get done tonight. So I guess I will see you guys tomorrow when we're going to Spain. I can't believe it. I've got a flump. So this is where we're staying. I will link it below if you guys are interested, but it's just a little flat. It's so cute. We've got a dining table. We've got a sofa that turns into a sofa bed later. I will figure out how to do that and show you. Got a TV on wheels. Love that. Can drag it anywhere. This is the kitchen. This is so nice. I love the marble backsplash at the back. And then as you turn around, I thought that this bedroom was going to be closed off, but it's very open. We're going to be best of friends by the end of this trip. But yeah, there's 
two single beds pushed together here and haven't actually looked in here yet but here is the toilet so we've got a nice little shower quite a big shower actually mirror here everything else i love these tiles so nice it's nice and quiet or at least it seems that way oh and then we've got a desk here as well little desk another tv so there's two tvs and loads of wardrobe space so this is where we're going to be staying it's really cute and i forgot to show you guys i actually haven't been out here yet but i got the apartment with a little patio look how cute this is oh we've got a little table and chairs i wanted to get one with a patio so that if i don't feel up to going into town or anything i can still come outside and get some fresh Share after surgery but we're gonna head to the shops get some essentials probably some bread and milk i bought so many tea bags with me oh we've got a Ooh. welcome box and then i've got an appointment with dr burgess before their surgery tomorrow and then it's surgery tomorrow we're probably just gonna chill tonight we actually brought the xbox with us <laughs> And Uno and, poker. and Uno and Poker. What's in the welcome box, Jane? Oh, trash bags. Oh, that's what we need. We need some washing liquid. Yeah. I love this door. It's so nice. <laughs> Look how big this pepper is. Jesus. Whoa. Jeez. Oh, everything looks so nice. We just got back from the shops and I thought I would give you a little Spanish haul. We just picked things in like five minutes. It was like supermarket sweet. Jane got some coffee. That's a necessity. I got this for the hospital because if I remember correctly, I'm quite a picky eater and I didn't love the hospital food, but we'll see. Maybe it's different this time. We got a butter because we also got a big loaf of baguette bread. I got this donut that said it had cream in, so I'm going to try that on camera in a minute. I've got some Red Bulls. We got some Dairy Lee cheese some tuck crackers some of this cheese cam got some protein mousse never seen protein mousse before and a protein pudding in caramel flavor and then i saw this that looks so good to me i'm craving dairy so badly at the minute so this is a milky bar milkshake also got some milk for my cups of tea some ruffles this was one of my favorite things that i tried last time this flavored popcorn then i got some yogurts for the mornings in a peach flavor i got this for now cafe latte jane got fizzy water i got these tiny baby little buns nice and snack size some apple juice and some soy sauce because I brought some mug shots and I put soy sauce in it. I'm sure we'll do a bigger haul at some point because we're going to be here for quite a long time. Anyways, I'm going to try this. I feel like the first bite's not going to be the best put it, bite. Put it in there. Okay. Uh, mm. Mm. Oh dear. <laughs> Good. I picked up a couple of things in duty free. So let me just show you. I got an Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream because I'm almost out of mine. And I also got these. These actually came in a two set for obviously less money than it would be to buy one. And it was in duty free as well. So it was less money anyway. And the kind girl at the checkout, five pounds off my order too. So there we go. <laughs> There we go. That is the bed all pulled out. That looks super comfy. I'm looking disheveled, but I'm just about to head for my appointment with Dr. Burgess just to check my legs, make sure we know what I'm doing because I'm, I think I'm the first in tomorrow. So there's not going to be a lot of time to chat. It's like 7 a.m. So me and Jane are heading there now. Cam's having a bit of a rest in the apartment, which is so nice. I love that little apartment. I feel like I could live there. <laughs> 